The U.S. government has removed most of the more than 300 migrant children who were found living in squalid conditions near the southern border. This comes as authorities are also investigating the death of four migrants in Hidalgo County. CBS's Omar Villafranca joins us now live from McAllen with the latest. So, Omar, let's begin with the deaths. What do authorities believe may have killed them? Uh, well, good morning, Russ. I spoke uh, to a spokesperson for the Hidalgo County Sheriff and a source of the FBI who's now taken over the investigation. And they think that this is just a sad case of, of really natural causes and heat that had overcome the four people. It was a woman, they say, in her 20s uh, and three children, two toddlers, one infant age. And it happened in this park behind me here. They call this area of the park Devil's Corner because of the oppressive heat that happens here during the summer, and it's kind of tucked away out of view. So, of course, they're still investigating. We hope to find out more about where they were from later on today. And Omar, as we mentioned, hundreds of children have now been removed from a different facility hundreds of miles away. Can you give us an idea of just how bad those conditions were, and has there been any explanation about how it got that way? Well, we talked to some attorneys who actually uh, went inside the facility and toured it, and they said the children didn't have access to a toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, soap, showers. They were wearing clothes that they crossed the border with, uh, clothes that were stained with, you know, body fluids, uh, mucus. Um, some of them had flus. It was a lice infestation. Matter of fact, one attorney told us, this is not America. This is not the way it should be. Uh, interesting note, there was an attorney for the DOJ that was arguing in the Ninth Circuit in front of judges there when they were asking the, this attorney, how come some of these basic conditions aren't being met? And she said, well, a lot of times they're not expected to be there because if it's a child, they're only supposed to be in uh, custody for 72 hours, three days, and then transferred over to another government agency, ORR, which is basically built to take care of children. But unfortunately, a lot of these children had been here for weeks. They were now transferred, we are told, to ORR care. But where they have gone, we're not sure. And there was roughly 300 of them that were removed. There's about 50 that uh, were not transferred. We also do not know what's going to happen to them. Oh, it just sounds like awful conditions. And one more question before we let you go, on, Omar. What steps, if any, are lawmakers taking to prevent this from happening again? Well, right now, it's just talk. There's talk of a $4.5 billion uh, humanitarian package to go through Congress. Of course, nothing has been passed, but it's worth noting that Congressman Michael McCall from Texas was actually on Face the Nation and talked about getting something through. Of course, a lot of this may be tied uh, on the Republican side to also changing the policy, but uh, he seemed that, uh, to hint that they'd be open to some sort of humanitarian aid going through to fix this particular situation, especially what we saw in Clint. Russ? All right, Omar Villafranca, live for us this morning. Thank you so much, Omar.